Hey everybody, it's Dibs again. Out in the garage, gonna do a little shooting out here tonight. Um, <clears throat> it's not actually not a bad day out, except for the wind is uh, like gale force winds out there. So I decided to keep it inside for tonight. But this is one I've been wanting to get a little bit of a uh, couple of groups downrange with, and just try to test it out and see how it's actually doing. But uh, I talked about this one in another video real quick the other day. <clears throat> this is my Daisy Model 120. And this was a El Gamo product from back in the, I believe, early 80s. I don't know what the Gamo model may have been uh, crossed over to, but it's a pretty cool little gun. It's a 177 caliber Springer. And uh, <clears throat> I have a Gamo 4x32 scope mounted up on there. So it's pre pretty fitting, but I did do, I took this thing all apart and surprisingly it does have a nice leather piston head on there and uh, <clears throat> was in really good shape. So I just cleaned that up and conditioned it with some oil and got that cleaned up. I did do some work on the trigger before it was horrendous, uh, very heavy, but gritty and real creepy. Now it's still a little heavy, but it's night and day difference from what it was um pretty good for a nice little sporter like this one is this is definitely never going to be a uh you know a virau or a, a diana or anything like that so but uh really is a, a lot better the trigger is and uh but also the the cocking stroke and the firing stroke cycle whatever you want to call it is so much quieter now it's unbelievable but so we'll go ahead and uh, I had that close to my microphone here and hopefully you heard nothing. <laughs> but uh, so the first group here I'm going to do is just with uh, some of the daisy flat points and these equate out to about a uh, about a 7.4 7.5 green pellet. <coughs> and uh, We'll do a group with those and then we'll try some heavier pellets to see if it can handle those too. But uh, I did do a, uh, I did do a, some of these daisies across the chronograph and uh, I'll put that up here right now. It was running around 481 with uh, around four foot pounds of energy. So, you know, it's not a, not a powerhouse, but it's really kind of what I expected from this is really kind of a youth model. The, the shot tube is pretty short on it, um, the air tube or whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't have a lot of uh, doesn't have a lot of room to uh, create a whole lot of airspeed. But uh, I uh, I think it's doing pretty well. It's not much different than several of my other Springers that I have. So, but uh, let's see what we can do as far as. Uh, a group goes here. So I did kind of zero this one before I started up, but uh, I didn't want to get too, because I really, this is only like 20 some feet across the garage here, so I, I, I do want to take this thing out and, and put it on a rest and really do some decent groups with it. I know I'll have to do some uh, some further adjustments. At, I don't know, I'll do 15 or 20 yards, probably 50 feet. I'm not sure, something like that with it. <clears throat> we may eventually get out to 25 yards, but we'll uh, take baby steps and see what it can do. All right. Fairly, not not very large. Ragged hole form in there, three shots so far. All right, same hole again. I know what you guys are asking. Can you keep the wheels on the bus? I don't know if I said it already, but 
Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Hope you had a great day. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get this one posted up tonight. It is Father's Day evening right now. I'll try to get it posted up tonight so uh, everybody can hear this uh, on Father's Day. But I had a pretty good day. I went over to some friend's house. We had a little barbecue outside, played some cornhole, beanbag toss, whatever you want to call it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to get home and do a little unwinding and play around out in the garage for a little while. All right, same hole again. This, this, this one's going to give some competition to some of the other ones I got, even with the heavy, heavier trigger. But uh, it's so much better. So those were the Daisy. The, you know, these shoot good in a lot of my guns, so I, I wasn't really expecting them to do any different in this one. But uh, then we'll try something a little heavier. I've got some uh, Beeman wide cutters, and these come in at about an 8.4 green. So we'll do a five shot group with those. I'm kind of almost expecting that uh, the point of impact will be maybe even a little bit higher with these ones. Just based on my experience with these springers with somewhat heavier pellets, they seem to, uh, for whatever reason, end up impacting higher when you shoot them. Or to the left. I think I pulled. I flinched that one over. I ate quite a bit. A lot more than I normally do. So my stomach is really full. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling my pulse. <laughs> Ready for a nap. But uh, All right. Two holes just about touching there. I, can't, I can only imagine how good this thing's going to do when I actually get it sitting on a on a bag and not bouncing all around trying to. So far, it looks like the daisies are going to be the winners on this challenge here, but. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the way this gun is shooting with both of them. So I can tell you, before I did the tune-up on this thing, it would not shoot like this. So Same, same hole as I think the first one looked like it went through the... Oh, I, I, I flinched that one down, but just my heartbeat bouncing up and down. But anyway, wow, that's a great shooting gun. So it's uh, <laughs> suspected that maybe the Daisy would like the Daisies, but uh, there you go. Daisy Model 120, nice little youth, budget, very budget friendly model. And, uh, Pretty good shooter too. Uh, just did a little tiny bit of work on it. Uh, greased up the spring, did a little bit of trigger work on it, cleaned up the piston head and re-oiled it, got it rejuvenated. It was very dry and very caked up with old gunk. And uh, But uh, once I got it cleaned up, it was surprisingly in really good shape still. So uh, making some pretty decent power. 481, it's not bad for a little shorty like this one. So. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. But until next time, have a great day.